Bro, Dress Rosa just started wrapping up and the last episode obliterated me. In terms of information and seeing what's going on around the world, I get so fanboy for those episodes. It's just so juicy, man. You see all the pieces moving. We saw all of the worst generation, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today we still continue the chaos that is Dress Rosa, except without Doflamingo in the picture now because he's defeated. But yeah, go watch my uh, my reaction to the last one because it was a lot and so much is going on. And I have a feeling that that's all we're going to get from them. And it's not really going to tease much else. Although still very curious what's attacking that poor monk in the sky, bro. Euroge, whatever beast came after him and why it's coming after him. Gonna hop right into this one. Drop a like on the video. It does help me out quite a bit. And let's get started. Oh, I love this song. Oh, this song is like, you know, things are going to be happy. A hill in Karta. Like one lone hill? Oh, Kiros' house. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's where they hid them. It's finally nighttime, bro. Oh my gosh. The day is over. <laughs> now they're safer here. Fujitora won't look here. Is that Bellamy? Ah! Ah! He's okay. My heart, man. Dude, Frankie's face is actually like missing like skin. That's crazy. He's sleeping on books. <laughs> Law on his blade. <laughs> Dude, what, would you not be dead tired? And there goes Usopp. This is so wholesome. Man. My heart, bro. All of them together. And even Bellamy, man. Oh, no. <gasps> it's Sabo. I saw the pipe. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he knows how to neutralize Zoro. I like how Robin's excited to see him. After spending the time skip uh, like with Dragon, inherently. It's a cool little detail that she was excited to see him. It's not really a detail, but you know what I mean. Yes, tell us more, Robin. See his face before I leave? Is he going to leave before Luffy wakes up? No. No. CP0. Wait, they're headed here? I don't know that they were already here, but like, why would they be after him or the Revolutionary Army? I guess they are government. And they're inherent enemies, like with the Revolutionary Army. But they're headed back? God, dude, they look scary. Because I'm assuming the Revolutionary Army is like revolutionary to like overthrow like just the government in general. I'm assuming the plans are a little bit more specific than that, but you know what I mean? It's it's a revolutionary army. Our crew's not even here. Our ship isn't here. Mm -hmm. Is he going to tell them more? Oh, dude, dude, I'm geeking. I'm geeking. Unless it's just flashbacks. It's very, it's very possible we just get flashbacks. Good times. Man, he's really gonna dip before he wakes up. An Irish exit. An incident. Dude, are we really gonna see how it all went down and how he how he didn't die? I'm assuming Dragon just saved him because we saw Dragon in the city that one night. So assuming he was like watching over Luffy and by association, Sabo and Ace. I mean, like I said, whenever he finally did return, I was like, I don't think he was dead and I just didn't know when he would ever return or in what fashion. Yeah, okay, Th that night, yes. That's why I figured Dragon was the one that just saved him. And that's how he ended up in the Revolutionary Army. Finally, we get some answers, man. Beautiful. He knew he was a good kid from that alone. Like a birdcage, how apropos now. I like the gray building around him. He didn't live in the gray terminal, but the world was gray. And the only thing free were those birds. Damn. Yep, then all that went down. Mm -hmm. Now, how did Dragon get Sabo out of there alive? Like, how would he save him without anybody seeing, too, at the same time? Like, it, it, at the very least, they'd see him, like, swimming away with him or, like, have him on another ship. Oh, he washed up on shore? Oh, oh so he straight up just got lucky. Oh! And then started to drown. 
So he didn't step in until the final hour. Interesting. Okay, but it was Dragon. That was the one that saved him. I see. Ivan! I hope Ivan's doing okay. <laughs> uh. So then he came back with this kid in tow. Do we get more? I love this so much. Oh, shoot, Inazuma! That's interesting. He got so lucky washed up, but then Dragon saved him. I always figured it happened in the moment. Oh, wait, what? He had memory loss. Oh. It's crazy getting so much with Dragon, like in general. He's such a rarity to even get voice lines from. He didn't remember who he was, but he knew he didn't want to go back. Damn. That's how much it scarred him. Take me some anywhere else. Anywhere. Kuma! Oh, my boy! Dang, dude. Uh, we hit the jackpot here, man. I figured we would find out what actually went down, but to see it in so much detail is so cool, dude. Now, see, tell, show us conversation between Robin and Dragon during, pro, during time skip, man. You know what I want. Oh, they're getting right to work. My gosh. The people of Dressrosa are excited to work and, and not sleep. Jinjao. Oh, they're treating the pirates there. Damn. A banquet at a later date? No, man. Hey, what's wrong with cabbage sleeping there? And how does this hair still look so good? Oh, him falling asleep. I didn't think about that. Yeah, him falling asleep. Thank you, Bart. Very smart. At a boy. Silly moment. How, how did he end up with that scar? Oh, the scars from that incident. That's why he had the bandages over his eye. I see. Luckily, he kept the eye, though. Didn't remember a thing. Baltigo, the Revolution Army's general headquarters. That looks sick. <laughs> of course, he was a bit of a rebel. Ooh. Train myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very interesting details that he lost his memory. It's not something I would have considered. I wonder how he remembers everything with like Luffy and Ace then. Oh, all of Sabo's childhood. Didn't have the pain of not remembering Luffy and Ace. But we did see his reaction to when Ace died, like reading it in the newspaper. So I wonder if that like brought like memories like rushing back or if he had, had, he had remembered before then. Damn! Kuma. Oh my gosh. Kuma-san. <laughs> Straight bodied him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable, man. Gosh, though, the fact that Ace died not knowing Sabo was still out there. Oh. Oh my gosh, Koala! So they just been growing up together. My heart! Ah! Oh my gosh, man. Worlds collide, paths cross. Damn, damn! He's a child, Kuma! And the pipe. <gasps> Wait, yeah, he still uses a pipe, but he didn't even remember. He just took it on because it was like what his body knew. His reflexes were, were used to wielding one. Dang, bro. And he was skilled with it. <laughs> Let me get, yeah, I'm gonna say he's not a touching dragon. I don't even know how powerful dragon is. I know he is powerful though. You don't get to the, the delete of revolutionary army like that. Five years ago. How things change. Battlefield in some kind. How specific? Oh, this is the revolutionary. Okay. Yeah, what have they all done over the years? This hangs up right away. She was right. Sabo with a phone is unpredictable. Just running past all the bullets. My gosh. How are they missing? Oh, little observation hockey. I see, I see. 
So bro was skilled from the get-go. Holy, like a hockey at 17. Oh my gosh. How much more can Oda possibly connect with what we know about the world? How? How is it possible he continues doing things like this? Oh, this is... He did the shatter in the Colosseum. He has like a move. Oh, so that's like his thing. Dragon breath. That's sick, man. That is cool. Dude, I'm, I'm eating. We are eating so much, man. Ah, it's a goddamn a feast over here with a story, information, lore, everything. Before you lead the revolution. Dang, bro. <gasps> oh. So Ace refused to join the Warlords. I feel like I should I have known that? I don't know. There's so much info, man. This is when he remembered. That's when he remembered. So it wasn't when he found out he was dead. Oh. It was like natural. Things just slowly came back bit by bit. Oh no, it was when he found out he died that it flooded back, isn't it? Bro! Luffy heading out to sea! Oh man. This is crazy, dude. It's, oh my god, so much connects. Till two years ago. Oh no. Oh no. It was that that flooded the memories. I was right. Oh man, dude. Like I said, dude, I, I, like I said, I knew getting in the post arc, we get info and stuff, but this is so juicy. 738. I'd honestly take him meeting Robin too. I think that would be cool. Hmm. Started to come back. The thing is, like, this whole memory loss thing didn't have to be done, but it adds such an interesting dynamic to his backstory, even more depth to it, and sort of his journey, becoming Sab the like the original Sabo again, or getting his memories back. Him and Koala being a duo, though, is so cool, man. Baltigo. So that's the headquarters. Okay. Baltigo, Baltigo, Baltigo. I have to, like, hammer it into my head. The crazy thing is, Dragon knew the whole time where he was from, and I think who he associated with. He just didn't tell him! What occurred? Wait, so this was two years ago, Paramount War, so this is when Marine Ford ended. Mm. And Dragon getting the news, oh my gosh! Oh yeah, Ivan was there, oh my gosh! Dude, that's when it flooded back. I was right, that's when it flooded back. Oh. Oh, huh? yeah, he is. Dude, how is Dragon so chill about this? Damn. And just like that, he knew. Like an old TV. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I wonder if Dragon talked to him about any of it. Because like I said, he knew where he came from. I don't know, maybe he, Dragon knew less than I think, or that I thought, about his relationship with Luffy and everything. Damn. That is so horrendous for that to be, like, that memory to be brought back at the time of finding that out. Like, how overwhelming. <laughs> Dude! The details! And this is what we got like a, a very short tease of. I don't remember when, like halfway through Dress Rosa, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit further. But it showed this scene for like a brief instant. Dude, I was so right. It all flooded back right then and there. He had very distinct memories, like very general memories, but didn't know the faces or anything. His brother. Oh. Did he I don't think he remembered Luffy in that moment, though, did he? But he had, like I said, the memories with another. Was he put in, like, a coma? Oh, my gosh. She was worried about him. Dang, it took that much of a toll on him. Holy. Oh, my gosh. Three, knocked him out for three days? Oh, my gosh. So everything came back in that time. Uh, I wonder if he went to Dragon right away. How bad he must have wanted to reunite with Luffy after all this time. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. 
Of course we don't get to see that. Of course we don't! Oh my god, Bellamy should totally join the crew. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He should totally join the crew. I like the three swordsmen sitting there, by the way. Kanjiro, Kinemon, and Zoro. Oh! Why'd he interrupt? Oh my gosh, Zoro! Ah! In trouble without food, Luffy hangs out. Luffy would eat anything around him. Get groceries. <laughs> Dude, isn't that what Ace said? I swear. He'll never get bored. Oh, this is so cool, man. Like, them getting the lore of the origins of them. Because, like, I know Luffy doesn't really talk about his family. Like, they didn't even know he had a brother. Like, they didn't know Ace until Alabasta when they stumbled upon Ace. Damn, dude. Windsaw's grave. Ah, oh, gosh. He's giving him news. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this shit is so sad. The entire army? Oh, so they, looked, they just searched for reports on where it would be. Oh. Dude, this feels like a lifetime ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he didn't even recognize him at first. The guy who died much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Dog. I'm so glad we get to see this final. It just cut away the first time. Well, when you saw him. Oh, and who else would know? <laughs> the strength. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. His eyelashes. Oh, my heart. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my, gosh. Oh my, gosh. Oh my heart. <laughs> He's just pouring on his face. <laughs> Thank you for being alive. <laughs> I, see, I see why it saved it for now. I really do. And he asked him for permission because Luffy was the one that watched him die. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so fucking sweet, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Robin's like, I knew this story. Probably. Oh, gosh. My cheeks are like, so, hurt so bad from smiling. A Viver card! Oh, no. No, I, I, I know. I see where this is gone. No, 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 no. Maybe you shouldn't give him one. Like, we'll just we'll cross paths one day, you know? <sighs> Whatever, man. Fine. <laughs> He's short circuiting from the tears. He remembers when Ace gave him one. <sighs> Damn, forgot Chopper, Sanji, and Nami existed. Gotta be honest. Holy. <laughs> yeah, isn't that worrying, guys? Doesn't that seem concerning? I'm guessing they're booking it out. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> and a young up. Classic Sabo. I like this, like, quirk of his. Fujitora! Is he gambling? What is this game? Only side. One was? What? <laughs> he left it up to chance to capture Luffy. Damn, he does leave everything up to chance. I like how that's his thing, though. Huh. So, what, is he gonna roll tomorrow and it's not one he captures him? Oh my gosh, Kevin, this. <laughs> Cavendish for real just saved this entire building from being just slaughtered. Oh my gosh. Or Bart saved the entire building from being slaughtered. 
Dude, she'll be in line for the throne. I think she could rule Dressrosa one. That'd be so cool. She's like the queen of Dressrosa. Who are these birds? Why are there so many? Are those CGI birds? Sabo is riding on them? Did the Revolution Army hire these birds? They're going back to Baltigo. Aww. <laughs> That's a way to travel. It's pretty badass. Oh my gosh, man. My heart needs an entire rest. Oh, dude. Oh, bro. Oh, my cheeks are in pain from smiling so much. It's so cool. This was the perfect perfect moment to get that story too at the, the the downswing of the arc when things are cooling off and yeah like there was no time in all of that chaos to tell that story like i said the perfect moment because if they had halted like the coliseum games or doflamingo's entire game whatever and things went just haywire it would have cut the momentum with this story but now i feel as though like i can rest for a bit like let all just uh, a big breath of air and then i'm just like okay so what happened here and it took that opportunity and it ran with it and it didn't drag it out or anything like we already knew the details to an extent and then we just got the little pieces filled in that needed to be filled in and this world that oda has created grows bigger and bigger and the lions like i said even koala just being a player in this game in the revolutionary army adds that piece of the world and gives it just a validation it's so so cool man it really is i would take koala's story of being a part of the revolutionary army me too aside from like all of the story with you know like the fishmen but i i guess we're we're lucky that uh fujitora rolled a one or else this night was about to go to haywire with <laughs> him trying to capture luffy but it's really hitting home his entire thing with chance and and rolling the dice on his decisions in life and it is really cool like i said i gained so much respect for him with the whole thing with the kainu that was ballsy man but guys that has been it for my reaction today the the clock on dress rosa continues to tick down make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything else and i'll catch you next time peace peace